Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how you could get Disney Dining Plan for free if you're a Disney Plus subscriber at Walt Disney World. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So last year, Disney launched a brand new perks program called Disney Plus Perks. Now, if you're a Disney Plus subscriber in the United States, you get access to a whole host of different bonuses and offers, I'm um, including free comics from Marvel Unlimited. I did actually go and get them this morning. You can also get discounts off like Loungefly, you can get discounts off um, the new Pandora video game, but more importantly, you can get some special offers at Walt Disney World. So Disney has announced that as of today, on January the 3rd, 2024, um, they're gonna be offering Disney Plus subscribers free dining plan for a select time of period. This offer will only be available for trips between July the 1st, 2024 through to September the 30th, 2024 on a non-discounted four-night, four-day Walt Disney Travel Company package that includes a room at a select Disney Resort hotel along with theme park ticket with a park hopper option. What's included for the Disney dining plan for people that are over the age of three, you get per day or per night of your stay, you'll get one quick service menu, one table service menu, one non-alcohol Alcoholic, alcoholic drink with your meal, a selected snack or drink, and a resort refillable mug. You only get one of them per trip. Now the Disney dining plan can make a huge difference if you're at Walt Disney World. I have used it in the past and it is a great way of almost essentially prepaying for a lot of your food up front and especially you can go and get into those nice restaurants. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds of restaurants at the resort plus lots of quick service things. Now generally in the morning I like just to get like a, a breakfast that they offer, like you get a Mickey waffle with maple syrup, can't beat that to start your day. And then obviously you can go to the main restaurants as well. Um, I would recommend if you do do this offer, get in and get those reservations as soon as you can because they will go very quickly. Um, um, I, there's a load of places at Disney Springs that are really good. I enjoyed like the boat house also. Uh, it was like the paddlefish with a big boat thing with some amazing food. There is some fantastic food that you can have. So much better than when I was a kid when it was just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and fries and stuff. But obviously at the minute this offer is only available to those in the United States. Internationally we do get different offers like at the minute here in the UK I was looking and you can actually get like four free nights in a hotel if you put like a two week package. Because obviously if we're going out to um, Orlando we tend to go a bit longer than and, um, those in the US. If you are going to Walt Disney World during a July and through to September, it's worth looking to see how much you'd save if you go with somebody else. You know, look at the discounts. Don't automatically assume that this is the best deal for you because if you're saving maybe just two, three hundred bucks, that the food might counteract that. But if you're saving like, I don't know, a thousand dollars going with somebody else, that could obviously offset the cost. You gotta look into it. They're also offering a new offer from today as well with like 35% off certain stays. Um, I do feel like now, Disney World, we're back to getting to offers and stuff again because it's getting a little bit soft at certain times of the year with attendance because that whole kind of revenge pandemic kind of travel is over. And it's kind of going back to what it was before, where they used to have to offer special offers to get you to go. And obviously with the economic climate and stuff like that, they need to give you an incentive to go. And that was definitely lacking um, over the last few years. They just kind of took away all the discounts. I, as I said, I really enjoyed the Disney dining plan when I've done it. And if I was staying at a resort, it's something I definitely would look into. And it's a nice offer, but again, look into it. Don't assume that you're making a, a, a good deal. You know, maybe if you say, off-site you might be able to completely offset this by thousands of pounds and you just aren't going to go and eat that stuff the good thing is though so if you do get the dining plan you get treats and stuff so you know you can get a doll whip when you're at adventureland i love it there or you could even this is a great idea is if you don't use up your snacks just wait until the last day go in and get a whole load of goofy candy and they got that to travel home with that's one other way of doing it but yeah great offer if you're going there but always look at the details but Love to know your thoughts. Are you going to use this offer? Are you going to take it out? Love to hear your thoughts on that on the comments below. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe, and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.